Hi there, this is Hitesh welcoming you again on my YouTube channel. So I hope you, are, you have watched my previous videos, they were pretty good. So what we are going to do today? Today we are going to answer another very important question. What should be my first programming language? To be honest, this question is a pretty vague. And why so? Because most of the curriculums out there in India teaches about the C programming language to be their first programming language. But I completely disagree with the concept. So what should be your first programming language when you start out to learn the programming or the coding? It depends. Yes, it depends a lot. And I would like to say this that it really takes a whole scenario to in order to understand what should be your first programming language. Let's say that you are starting out with the C programming language just like the curriculum is saying out to you and you want to design a web application which should be a social media oriented. Now, learning a C programming language in that scenario is a total waste. Yes, I would agree with that. So what should be your first programming language okay let's answer this question by defining what are the types of things that you can do with that okay let's get started with the software development let's say you want to design a software that should look good uh, look good on the windows or maybe some platform like that so i would say that just start out by learning the java because you can design some cool desktop application in the java now here is the myth you should learn c c plus plus and then comes the java it's a total myth Yes, this is the truth out there. You should not spend your time in C and C++ if you are really interested in learning the Java. You should directly jump onto the Java. There are no such things as prerequisite for the Java. Eventually, over the time, you will learn the concepts of variables, classes, object-oriented and all such things. So no need to spend time with the C out there in that particular case. Okay, let's move ahead on to the next part. Let's say you want to design a web application. So what you should learn in that case? Now, I would say you should learn JavaScript for that. Now, again, JavaScript is booming out there and you should really spend some time in JavaScript. But if you want to learn the JavaScript, HTML and CSS are going to be the prerequisite. So make sure that you do first of all that. Now, talking about the JavaScript, the concepts like Node.js, React and Flux flux are booming out there so you should spend a little time with the javascript if you are interested in the web development or web design now that's another story now if you are interested in the mac development let's say you want to design an app for ios or maybe mac or macintosh apple watch maybe then spending the time in php or the javascript or c or java is totally a waste of time you should be learning swift in that case yes object the objective c is almost a dead now and everyone is recommending to just get started with the swift out there okay that's another story for the ios development but let's say you directly want to design an android app in that case, you should be jumping directly onto the Java basics and then directly onto the Android app. Now, no need to be a uh, beep master on the all other languages and all of that. Again, I would say that if you know a couple of languages, that will surely help. But no need to spend a lot of time in this and that jargons. Okay, so web development is covered, Android is covered, and then we have covered the iOS as well. What else you can do? Of course, you can jump into the game development with the Unity. For that, you need to stay time onto the c -sharp development as well. So that's the whole story. Again, I would say, don't go with the curriculum. If the curriculum says that learn C, then C++, that's another story. Just try to focus on what you want to do. Let's say you want to design an Android app, go for Java. You want to design an iOS app, go with the Swift. If you want to design some web applications or websites with some logics and all of that, go for the JavaScript and all of that. Now again, here's a little twist. You might be saying, when should I learn the PHP? It was a long time ago. Now, I would say you don't need much of the PHP. Of course, if you learn, that would be great. But now the technology can be done quite well with the JavaScript. So you should be spending time on the Node, React, Flux and all of such things like that. And if you want to be into the game development, c -sharp, Unity is pretty great idea. But I would say that's not all the idea, but you should get with that. Okay, some of the people ask me this question as well. Which language should have I started my programming career? Now that's a complete, uh, not at all a good question I would say because the time when I started the programming was a very different time. And now it's a different time. So you should choose according to you. I would say I started with the COBOL or something like that. And if you want to learn the COBOL in nowadays, everyone is going to say, are you crazy or are you nuts out there? So definitely don't do that. Don't just rely on me, which language 
I started out there. Now again, these all domains are pretty good, pretty enough good, but you can also choose one more path out there. There is a path for the web development and desktop or software development with the Python. Now, if you are a complete beginner and just want to start with the programming, I would say try to start with the Python. And now you might be looking at me, hey, Python, it's such a great language. It's so much experience requirement of the languages. No, it's not. It's really the simplest. And a lot of uh, universities out there like Texas University, the Harvard University, all of them are teaching Python as a beginner language, just like what we are doing in India as a C programming. C is a very tough, I would like to say that, but again, go ahead and try out with the Python. It's a really simplest language, or if you are a Mac oriented, you have a Macintosh, OS X or something, start with the Swift. So that's up to me. Now, the, the decision is definitely going to be yours. So final decision is in your hand, but please notify me in the comment below, which language are you getting started with? And with that, I would like to say like, comment and subscribe to my channel and see you out there in the next movie.